AI Studios freaked me out again. I got to show you an app I built because it is super important. If you haven't seen these before, my name is James. It's trainingsites.io. I want to show you an app I built with four prompts using AI Studio that creates a complete learning experience. And I'm thinking this is something that replaces a lesson. And more importantly, anything that you're thinking of in courses, I think creating these learning experiences like the one I'm going to show you in a second, this is where the future of education is. We're building these experiences and then complementing or supplementing the experiences. And this is an AI generated experience. We're supplementing it with our personal expertise and maybe what was traditionally called content. So that's the first thing. I think these are replacing traditional courses, these AI experiences. Second thing is Fortify prompts. AI Studio with Google, this is something anyone can do. You just have to start thinking, if I have 10 lessons in my course, what are the applications that teach or let each individual student do what it is you're trying to teach and then make yourself available to complement these apps? Uh, don't think about selling courses. Think about selling experiences that are built with AI and these mini apps, processes, all of the experiences you can think of and then supplement it with what used to be called a course. And I'm going to show you one uh, that I built, again, four or five prompts. This is a follow-up from one that I did. Uh, when was this one? I did this one uh, the week before. This particular one was a script coach, uh, and this was a coaching one, which basically you narrated with the microphone, narrated live, and it made uh, suggestions and gave you additional exercises and fixes for a whole bunch of criteria on how you verbally uh, delivered what it is that you were doing. This other one that I used, uh, created with AI Studio, is multimodal again, but it's very visual um, related, and that's why I want to show it to you. Not visual related. The interface or the surface that we're teaching from or using as the teaching element is visual. And that's the cool thing about AI Studio, that this is completely multimodal, and it's not video stuff or audio stuff based on a transcript. It is all of the inflection and different pieces of the audio and the content of what is in the video and in the images. So if you're not familiar, just a quick little hit here. AIstudio.google.com is where we're at. And I went to build and I was building an application and you get this basic interface. And for me, all I did is I explained what I wanted to have happen, I'm going to show you that app in a second. And I made a couple little tweaks after, and I got a complete application. And I want you to think of this as a lesson or part of a course where you're getting someone to actually do something, not just read about something or watch something. And in this example, what I did is if people are creating videos, they're creating educational content, they're creating YouTube videos for marketing their business. They need to have an AI studio. So what I did is I built up my AI studio fix. It's an application. Again, I built four or five different pieces, uh, different prompts to get this done. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to look and say, okay, what are the important parts of the setup of your studio? Lighting, pro vibe, declutter, angle, background. These are just some examples of one that I pulled up. And I'll show you how it works in a second, but this result is the part I want to show you first. It takes a picture of your studio with you in it or with you not in it. It takes a picture and then it gives a critique based on the image. Not on what you said, not on what's written, but the image. And it takes a look and gives some uh, different uh, ideas on what you want to fix or may not fix. And we'll get this recommended gear uh, again in a second. So it gives you a detailed critique of it. So if you do have a studio, this isn't me telling you how to create your studio. This is you showing your studio and having AI make the critique based on the criteria that I've programmed into this uh, application. So detailed critique, but I wanted to view the simulation. What improvements can I make or how can I make improvements to my studio? I just don't want to know what's bad with it. I want to know how can I fix it. So click view simulation. This is Nano Banana reimagining my studio and giving me some suggestions. And this is what it generated. So I these pictures are pretty awesome. I'm much I, I like my AI generated picture. 
better than the other one, but I want you to just put in context what's happened here visually, because it has taken parts of my background, but not all of it. It has noticed that I'm not in a professional attire, and it has actually fixed the way I'm dressed. It has repositioned me in the background and made some additional pieces here. We've even got a key light that's showing in the background here. So this is an example of something where you can go and add a picture and then start seeing or reimagining it based on the criteria that we're looking at. And I can even do things like add monitor light bar, add a microphone boom arm. In fact, I can go and make changes and see what happens if I make those changes. This is a learning experience. This isn't me reading some bullet points. It isn't me, uh, you know, watching a talking head video or reading from a slide. This is something that each individual person does. And it shows the prompt that's being used. Now, here's the other cool thing for monetizing. When I went to detailed critique, it also recommended gear based on the critique that it had given. So here's some additional pieces that can be done. And if I wanted to, what I could do is go and add or analyze another photo. And this is exactly how it works. Use the camera or upload a file. In my case, I'm going to use the camera. There's the picture. Rotate landscape for best results. Okay, I'm there. So if I'm just going to go like this, let's see what happens. It's going to go and analyze the picture now. And when we've got that analysis done, there'll be a new critique. And then also I'll be able to generate a new look for my particular piece. So angle, it's pretty low. We've got background, lighting, all these things. There's my critique. Adjust the angle, the background, uh, directly behind the subject's head, reposition, clutter, lighting, professionalism. But this is the one that I think is flippy. We've got now reposition, we're reimagining the screen. Think of all the things you can do visually now that maybe you couldn't show before. It has actually, again, taken piece of it and given me some examples on how to reposition myself and or pieces of the studio. This is incredibly cool. And it was done in four or five prompts. And it's something that you can deploy as a teacher, as a coach, as a course creator. This is something that you can deploy in anything that used to be called a course. Think of no lessons. Think of what are the little apps that show people how to do what it is I'm teaching them. And then maybe what's some supplemental content for it. But I'm giving them exercises to do on a surface that is completely multimodal now. I hope you get a chance to play around with this. It's Google Studio. It's aistudio.google.com. Everyone can use this. It's free to use right now with a Google account. And I highly recommend that you start playing because it's the end of November. And if I'm talking to you at spring break in March, this is going to be even easier to use. And if you're still thinking about old courses, you're going to get left behind. This is James. Like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to go to trainingsites.io. And join the community. It's free for all of the videos like this that help you start, build, and grow your education business. Take care. Expect the best.